So greetings and welcome everyone to the 2023 Toronto Perioperative Echo Symposium. This is a virtual event that will take place over the next two days. Next slide. My name is Annette Vegas, and I'm a staff anesthesiologist at Toronto General Hospital and the chair of this year's planning committee. Next slide. I would like to acknowledge and thank members of this year's planning committee for their efforts in contributing to the development content, as well as participating in the meeting. You will meet many of these individuals throughout the meeting as they act as curators and moderators. A special thanks to Sarah Russell, who is the conference coordinator for tying all of the loose ends together. Next slide. This year, we tried something unique by thinking outside the box to create a virtual meeting representing the global expansion of echocardiography. We identified six curators and asked each to create a two hour session that highlights their expertise and local practice. The curators reached out to colleagues and as a result, this approach recruited an international faculty that is multidisciplinary from anesthesiologists, surgeons, cardiologists, internists, critical care physicians, and emergency medicine doctors. These are experts at the forefront of research and writing guidelines. They are leaders of ECHO program committees, such as Dr. Diamond from the SCA and Dr. Miniri from the European Association of Cardiothoracic Anesthesia and Intensive Care. Above all, they are passionate educators. The speaker bios are available on the website, so check it out and learn a bit more about these individuals. Many thanks to the speakers for spending their own time to prepare their talks and be available live during the Q&A. Next slide. The program comprises two days of virtual lectures. Some speakers are presenting live while others are pre-recorded. Next slide. Today, we will cover three sessions, left ventricle, extracardiac, and tricuspid valve. Next slide. The objectives are formally set out in the program on the website, which you can read at your own leisure. Next slide. This audience has a broad experience from novice to very, very experienced. As we progress through these sessions, some may question how relevant the topic is to their practice. I would ask you to keep an open mind as there is always something to learn about echocardiography. But really, we are here with the audience to accomplish the following goals over the course of the meeting. Share some knowledge, learn some echo pearls from the experts, ask as many questions as you like, and most importantly, relax and enjoy. Next slide. This meeting is accredited by the Canadian Anesthesia Society for 12 hours of credit. Please remember to fill out your evaluations for the certificate of attendance. Next slide. I would like to introduce Fatima Mahmoud, who will be working behind the scenes to make the magic for this meeting happen. Thank you so much, Annette. It's a pleasure to be here and support this important event. My cell number is listed here on the slide, but I'm also available through the chat function throughout the meeting. We have session evaluations for each respective day of the program. There is one session evaluation for Saturday and one for Sunday. On the screen, there is a QR code you can scan, but I've also posted it in the chat through a link. We would encourage you to have the survey open in another browser tab and try to complete it throughout the day. At the end of each session, we will repost this link, but we do recommend you have it open in another tab and get the evaluation done as the sessions progress. For this event, we will be using Zoom, a webinar platform, and we have three elements of engagement and interactivity available. There will be a couple of polls in one of the sessions where you will be able to vote and see the results. 
We will, um, participants will not have access to audio and video features as they are disabled to minimize disruptions during this webinar. Please use the chat and Q&A functions to communicate with organizers, presenters, and other participants. I would like to point out an important differentiation between the chat function and the Q&A function. We encourage participants to use the chat function for feedback and dialogue with other attendees, whereas the Q&A button is where you will submit your questions and the moderators will monitor the questions that come in and will ask them on your behalf at each session's designated Q&A session. Attendees can also upvote questions submitted in the Q&A tab, so the ones that they like the most will be upvoted. This is especially important when there are a lot of questions but not enough time. Um, the questions that are most upvoted will get addressed first. And with that, I would like to pass it on to our first session moderators to lead the way into the first session.